All right, so setting up for this flight from Miami to St. Kitts. And uh, I already started the aircraft, I already built my road. Just trying to enter the information inside the FMC now. So we'll be taking the Jones E2 departure when we see what he left from Miami International Airport. And we'll be going on the Yankee 587 and the I forgot what this VOR is actually called. Oh, Grand Turk. Grand Turk VOR. And then we'll be going on to the Alpha 555 Seabug. So, Alpha 555 Seabug. Uniform Golf. And then I think we'll be actually going back on the Yankee 587. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to Grady. So that's Alpha Delta India. Uh, Yankee five eight seven once again. It's a lot of up and down with this thing, yo. Actually, now you see Alpha five five once again. 
If you go in the street too hard. Romeo Delta Echo. And after that, Yankee 587 once again. Next. Rubble. So after Rubble, we'll be going on the Romeo Tango Echo 6, then on to the San Juan VOR. Romeo Tango Echo 6, then the Sierra Julia Uniform. Crap. Uniform. Then direct to the St. Quai VOR. St. Quai VOR, St. Quai. Charlie Asuka Yankee. Then after that, go 633 St. Kitts VOR. Go 633, go 633. Sierra Kilo Bravo. Execute. So normally, Miami would tell me to claim a meeting 5000 on initial altitude, so let's stick that right there. 5000 on initial. Then after skips, we'll be going to one six thousand. One six thousand next. Then after that, we can expect flight level three three zero. Crap. Three three zero. Just grab that from there, bring it over here. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> a bit of a task to actually put in all this flight level 330 right up until the same one VOR. And then we should actually expect. Let's see here. Let's try two one thousand flight level two one thousand flight level two one zero. After ten Z, we could expect. I don't know. One seven thousand, I guess. Flight level one seven zero. Crap, I forgot the forward slash. Flight level, come on, flight level one seven zero. Then we could expect flight level one one zero, and then we could expect. 5000 at Gaba. Let me just get rid of this. I'm um, seeing his VOR. Make these definite 3200 and 2000 feet. So we could actually be at those levels by the time we get to our uh, in, in range of St. Gates. Alright, so let's see here now. Master Avionics coming on. Let me just check this um, aircraft fuel. So we only want 29,000 pounds of fuel. 29,000 pounds of fuel, that's good. We'll be carrying five passengers today. Now each person will be probably around 185, 185 pounds. Yeah. One, two, three. We carry some children. Four, five. Baggage, 300 is good. 
Alright, so that should do us. So for the format that I want this one to be is actually... Hmm. Yeah, let's make it that one. Change the range on this here. Alright. Switch that to standby. Monitoring Unicom 122 to simulate. That. Well, all right. Let's go. Oh, let's change the pressurization altitude to thirty-three thousand. Come on, round it. Let me three zero and then three one two three. Let one two three. That's good. So I think it's safe now for us to actually close this passenger door. And get the engine started up now. Push and start without departure pushback. Let's get some fuel going here. Could actually start engine one and engine two. Well, engine two first and then engine one. You see, you go way in the red and then come back down to stabilize. It's a mirror 166. Sixty-six percent talk. Start number two. After this that we can actually synchronize the propellers. Just do a quick light test. Alright. So they hit that synchronized propeller. Got them bleed ears coming on. In that temp to 20 degrees cabin temp. Add to fail the select. Actuate the standby set. External power could now come off. Ignitions could set to off. Uh, and boost set on. Auto anti ice set check. Peter left and right coming on. Home communication set. Hey, just like that, we, we are ready. First and foremost, let me just um, set this to VOR1. Let me just make sure these reference are set to go. V2 speed, V rotate, V1, and... This could be on. Set on the other reference. For the bearing, let's see bearing. V1, 
viewer said that to inject looking good weather Alright, so flight level 330. Let's just say that one time. Since we already set the different constraints in the FMC, we could just set flight level 330 and let the vertical navigation, vertical nav climb set. Cool. Speed 170. So I could actually be reminded to raise my flaps around 170. My one forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy-five is good. Yeah, the is set on. Passenger sign set on. So got the performance page. Oh, my standby arm instruments coming on. There you go, initializing. 160 seconds. Not bad. What I'm gonna do is just say right turn away and turn straight around. Get these to about 30 35 percent. Set this to a ground idle. One thing I actually forget to do is actually turn my beacon lights on. <laughs> taxi light set. I think we're actually ready now to taxi. Start my smart cars right here. Play. Welcome aboard, everyone. Before we get moving, <laughs> please be sure to fasten your seat belt, sure return vaccine. your seat back and folding trays to their full upright position, and store your carry on luggage in either an overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. If seated next to an emergency exit, please read carefully the instructions located by the exit. If you do not wish to perform the functions described in them in the event of an emergency, please inform a flight attendant so that they may reseat you. We request that all portable electronic devices such as mobile phones or laptops be either turned off or put in airplane mode at this time. This is because these devices may interfere with the aircraft's navigational and communication equipment. We will inform you when you may continue using these devices. We would like to remind you that so smoking on board this aircraft is prohibited by law, as is tampering with, disabling, or destroying lavatory smoke detectors. If you have any questions about this flight today, don't hesitate to ask myself for another flight attendant. Have a great flight. On behalf of the captain and crew, welcome aboard the flight. Make sure your seat belt is fastened, return your seat backs and trays to their full upright position. Also, please turn off all electronic devices. Thank you. If I can get everyone's attention, we will now review safety information regarding the flight today. When you see the seat belt sign illuminate, you must fasten your seat belt. Insert the metal fittings, one into the other, and tighten by pulling on the loose end of the strap. You can release your seat belt by lifting the upper portion of the buckle. It's preferred that you keep your seat belt fastened throughout the flight in case of turbulence. 
There are several emergency exits throughout this plane. Please take a moment to locate your closest exit. In some cases, your nearest exit might be behind you. If we need to evacuate the aircraft, floor level lighting will guide you toward on, the available exit. Doors can be opened by moving the handle in the direction of the arrow. Each door is equipped with an inflatable slide which can be detached and used as a life raft. Oxygen and air pressure are always monitored throughout the flight. If decompression occurs, an oxygen mask will fall from the ceiling in front of you. To start the flow of oxygen, pull the mask towards you and place it firmly over your mouth and nose. Secure the elastic band behind your head and breathe normally. It might seem like the bag isn't inflating, but oxygen is flowing to the mask. If you're traveling with a child or someone who needs help, please secure your own mask first. After that, you can assist the other person. And please keep your mask on until a crew member advises you to remove it. In the event of an emergency, please assume the bracing position. Lean forward with your hands on top of your head and your elbows against your thighs, ensuring your feet are flat on the floor. Life vests are located in a pouch under your seat between the armrests. When instructed to do so, open the plastic pouch and remove the vest. Flip it over your head and bring the straps around your waist. Adjust the straps at the front. To inflate the vest, pull firmly on the red cord when leaving the aircraft. If you need to refill the vest, blow into the mouthpiece. Also use the whistle and light to attract attention. Your seat bottom cushion can be used as a flotation device. Pull the cushion Sit. from the seat, slip your arms into the straps, and hug the cushion to your chest. Bottom Electronic devices side, like phones and laptop on. computers may be used only when the seatbelt sign is off and when permitted by the crew. Close Mobile phones windows. must remain off throughout the flight. Remember that this is a non-smoking flight. Also, damaging the smoke detectors in the lavatory is prohibited by law. Set four. You will find all safety information in a card located in the seat pocket in front of you. It is recommended that you read it before we take off. If you have any questions, please ask myself or another crew member. We hope you enjoy your flight. Alright, that's it for the briefing. Taxi on to the UNV. I don't have anybody to say it. Let me just tell uh, Miami traffic. Departing one way zero left via uh, June Z2. Transition skips. Up halfway. And be careful not to let the guard just go into red. Alright, that's view of it. Wow, that's a bitch. Wow, that's a bitch. <laughs>
Alright, looking good. Some intense turbulence. Legs page, try to meeting this level until five thousand feet. Wow, yeah, it's a rough time getting out of Miami, yo. It doesn't make sense to keep on the landing on the taxi light since they actually fixed on the gears and the gears are already retracted so in the night time they would actually put light, uh, lights on the wings which is this light, this light right here, the ICE light to illuminate the wings to give further light on the aircraft at night time. So that our, our traffic could actually see us. Let me see, change the range about 40 nautical miles. It's a bumpy way coming up here. See what the weather looks like. I look crazy as hell. At this point in time, you will actually tell us to climb and maintain 16,000, so let's just go 16,000. That's us coming over to Miami. It was a bit of a rocky road. These engines are so massive. So at this point in time, uh, let's see, like maybe when I get to like flight level 180, I'll turn the windshield anti ice on. 
this Taiwan he needs to be on. <laughs> yeah. Same thing else seems to be looking good. You don't see the panel is actually dark, which means everything is set properly. Everything is in its position. message on the screen let's see what that message says message check fuel at destination okay let's see what the fuel at destination actually looks like so we get the perf performance next next fuel credit 29,000 we actually burning more than 29,000 pounds <laughs> we're actually doing a fuel flow that will require us to have well require us to have 29,000 pounds of fuel and right now our fuel is actually looking let's see here so that's just about 2,000 in the main tanks and 300 so we actually have 2,300 pounds of fuel interesting nah this is 1,100 times 2 that's 2,200 <laughs> Two hundred and three hundred. So we actually have twenty five hundred pounds of fuel on board. Don't worry, as soon as we get to high altitudes, we'll be burning less fuel because of the less density in the uh, atmosphere I gotta say that this weather actually looking really interesting sorry for those at uh, flight level 100 I'm gonna cut this video and see you guys at top decent Ten thousand feet. Alright guys, see ya.